Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Swelled Basic Universe, also known as Axiom A2. Now, the second axiom of our basic universe V is that V is swelled. This means that any subclass of a set is also a set. Or in other words, all of these subclasses of the members of V are also themselves members of V. In combination with Axiom 1, this means that the universe is super complete. Basically, we're saying that any subclass of a set is also a set. So not only are all of the members of set sets, but all of these subclasses of a set are sets. So any collection of the members of a set is going to also be a set. All right, as well as any of the members of a set will also be a set. There's another interesting consequence of these first two axioms. It means that the universe V is not a set. It is not a member of itself. We've already shown that not all classes are sets. If V was a set, then all subclasses of V would be sets. But since all classes are subclasses of V and not all classes are sets, we have a contradiction. So V cannot be a set. Basically, because there exists at least one subclass of V, which is not a set, V cannot itself be a set because all subclasses of a set must also be sets. Hopefully that makes sense. The specific class in that we're talking about is the class of all ordinary sets, which is the problematic one. If you want more information on that, go back and check on the sets classes in Russell's Paradox video or some of the videos around there that dig deeper into the, those problems. But basically, V can't be a set because the subclasses of V then would all have to be sets, but not all the subclasses of V are sets. Some of them are only classes. Another way to state this is that for the universal class V and all sets X and Y, if X is a subclass of Y and Y is a member of V, then X is a member of V. Formally, we might say the following. For all X and all Y, X is a subclass of Y and Y is a member of V implies that X is a member of V. In proofs, this will be axiom 2, or A2. Up next, we're just going to keep going with the axioms. Axiom of the null set. Axiom 3. Probably the simplest of all the axioms. Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org. Watch a new video every single day for the whole of October. And stay skeptical, everybody.